We were hunkered down in Coconut Grove near Miami, where we'd planned to get some important boat work done and finish any last preparations before crossing to the Bahamas. Getting our COVID tests. Seems we're going to the Bahamas. Hi, Mom and Dean, and this is Tom and our little travel buddy, Bon Bon. Last year, we were given the opportunity of a lifetime. We won a Morgan 32. After spending the summer refitting her, we're now sailing our way south on our beautiful sailboat, Madeira. We're windsurfing, surfing, and foiling along the way. And if you're keen, get on the mailing list. We'll send you a postcard once in a while. Climb the tree as well. He's so cute. I'm gonna see this. Oh no! I'm <laughs> <laughs> That's just a coconut. <laughs> it's just a coconut. <laughs> so? How is it? Empty. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. There's no juice. In it. No juice. Oh no. <laughs> oh, wow, it really is good, hey? Yeah, it's super sweet. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> this is a good one. It's full of juice. This is like the perfect age. I'm hey, trying to Mom's gonna love this. <laughs> This is the coupling that was going to decide our fate. No, I'm exaggerating. But anyone who saw our earlier videos knows that we had a lot of transmission issues. It's a flange, not a coupling. Oh, it's a flange. And we were waiting to see um, before we crossed the Bahamas how much wear this used flange got that we installed at the beginning of the intercoastal, so we've motored quite a bit, and it looks like it doesn't have much more, right? Doesn't look like it has any more. Doesn't look like it has any more. <sighs> this is amazing. <laughs> Saving us a lot of time and a lot of money. So it's a few months later, and I'm editing, and I realized that we never explained what the actual solution was to our transmission issues. This piece here that I was showing you is the used piece that we bought for really cheap because it already, it also had wear around the teeth. Um, less than the one we had, but uh, still quite a bit of wear. And we used it as a test to see that whether the wear that was also on the shaft that it goes on would just chew up um, the flange's teeth. We didn't want to do that test with a brand new flange, which is like $500. And it turns out that the wear on the shaft doesn't seem to be causing too much damage too fast to the flange. So our solution was to buy a new flange and that would be a bit more of a long-term fix to our issue and avoid us having to change the whole transmission or rebuild it. So huge relief and um, spoiler alert, it's a few months down the line and it seems to be doing really good so Woo! <laughs> Are you creating a disastrous mess? Yes, yes I am. <laughs>
we have bought a new conversion kit for the ice box yeah and now i am building a new floor so this ice box is absolutely massive yeah you could probably like we could probably fit in there <laughs> yeah i think we could almost the two of us <laughs> no. but at least one of us and for now most of it is or at least half of it is being wasted by empty space that usually is supposed to have ice oh. it now actually has water in it so we should get that out of there yeah. but um the idea is that we'll insulate then put a new floor so that there's a smaller space to cool and in the bottom portion we're going to put a water tank that's going to give us some more fresh water that we can actually drink so now i have to build the floor <laughs> These pieces are set up and they're sort of flat and they're setting up the way that they're going to be sitting inside the ice box and now I'm going to glue them onto these pile of foam pieces. So what materials did we end up choosing for this? And, um, starboard, which is this kind of like plasticky material. This one, the white stuff, and the reason we did that is because it's relatively strong, and because it's plasticky, if there's spills on it and stuff like that, then there won't have, there won't be any issues. We went with XPS foam because if it gets wet, it's a closed cell foam, so it doesn't absorb water, which is great because there's always humidity and water on a boat regardless of how much you want there not to be and in a fridge and in a fridge yeah for sure from condensation so and we're using gorilla glue yeah and we're using gorilla glue because it doesn't react with the xps foam and it will allow us to get a decent bond with this starboard material we're going to put three inches of insulation underneath the starboard, starboard. <laughs> We got that all glued up we have our weights on there so it doesn't move around as it cures you can see the different ribs that are gonna hopefully mash up into one another we'll see how that ends up turning out this one seems to be well lined up at least and we'll see how it goes hopefully it fits <laughs> a couple months down the line we never filmed the result but this is what our little fridge conversion looks like. Um, you can see that we installed another icebox conversion like we had in there before, just a little bit newer. It's made by Novacool, which is a Canadian company. Um, and we got that because it was just cheaper than other things and it uses the exact same components as every other company uses basically. And it was very easy to install. We went kind of back and forth between doing this or ripping this all apart and putting in um, a pre-made unit or putting a pre-made unit somewhere else and turning this into storage at the end of the day this was the cheapest and the least work and it's been working really well for us uh, it doesn't take much power and it was a quite a quick and easy install so um, i'm pretty happy we went down this route we have a little freezer compartment here which easily freezes meats um, keeps ice creams good and does everything a freezer should do and then the rest of it is a cool compartment that 
we haven't had any issues with staying cold enough. Got this little dial to adjust the temperature. And yeah, underneath the floor over here, we have a water tank, which is part of the reason that we wanted to go with this type of conversion because we wanted to have more water storage. And this is um, a new uh, flexible water tank that we thought would make good use of this space where the ice used to be. So we get about 20 liters of fresh water in there. And the tank itself is actually not that great. We couldn't really find another option. This is kind of what most places sell, the Plastimo kind. You find the fittings on them are a little bit shitty, but it's been working okay. We can fill the water from the lazarette outside. Um, and <laughs> it comes out out of this little angle pump over here. Uh, as far as the floor goes, we used Gorilla Glue to glue the XPX foam to the starboard. Uh, I glued the foam pretty well, but the foam to the starboard, which is this white stuff, um, didn't glue that well. So I had to re-glue it. I think it was mostly a problem with how much pressure I was able to apply and how evenly over the whole surface. Second time around, it seemed to work a little bit better but it's still not an ideal way to glue to it. I'm wondering maybe in the future, we might just use screws to kind of hold all of this together or something like that. So it's more of a mechanical bond as opposed to um, being glued. This thickness of insulation, which is three inches of XPS foam, has worked quite well. That's definitely enough insulation for this, in our opinion. This isn't actually 100% done. We're supposed to make some sort of a seal here and here so that seals air out properly but for now that just means that our water that's sitting underneath gets cooled a little bit which is not a bad thing it keeps it fresh and when we drink it then we have cold water yeah i think it turned out pretty good and pretty happy with it we ended up staying a couple of weeks in coconut grove waiting on receiving parts and getting a lot of organizing and cleaning done bagheera is going through a deep clean and some indoor improvements. So this is very messy before Bagheera. We'll show you what we do. Hopefully we can improve the interior. Our first decoration is up. <laughs> His Highness Bun Bun is up on the wall. We've got some other projects planned to embellish the interior. You know, the word is decorate, right? You always say embellish, but it's decorate. To decorate! So after lots of cleaning and organization, we've got Bagheera looking a little bit more like a home. We put up some decorations and we still have quite a few projects planned, but for now, um, this is how Bagheera looks and I'm very happy. She's very homey. Eventually, the list of preparations got shorter. And as we saw a weather window for our crossing to the Bahamas approaching, we tackled the last few important tasks, like taking this guy to the vet, getting COVID tests and travel health visas for the Bahamas, which would only be valid for five days prior to our arrival in the country. Getting our COVID tests! Seems we're going to the Bahamas. And doing some final stocking up. Believe it or not, this monstrous thing is the cheapest thing I've found to rent a car. <laughs> Good thing I had practice with the U-Haul. <laughs> Wish me luck. Round three of Walmart stocking up for the Bahamas. I think we got pretty much everything. The only thing I couldn't find was any Oreos. <laughs> and I now found out why. This. Alright, we don't need our ears anymore. Hopefully there's enough space. I think Bagheera is gonna sink. Holy <laughs> So, it is 9.30 in the evening and we are doing the very final prep 
because we are finally leaving. <laughs> We're gonna be crossing to the Bahamas overnight and for some reason I like still don't really believe that we're doing this I think because because we've been rushing so much and it felt like we were never really ready and I don't even know if we really I mean we're as ready as we need to be um all the necessary stuff is done I think we had just been really ambitious with how much like projects we could get done before going and getting so many materials for so many different projects that we want to do and just putting a lot of pressure on ourselves to get more done um but we've gotten important things done we have a functioning fridge um we have an extra water tank we have materials for many many things we've started decorating and embellishing Bagheera, making her more of a home, which is very important to me. <laughs> Not so much for Tom, but for me it's really great. And um, yeah, I can't believe it. <laughs> Tomorrow morning we'll actually be in the Caribbean. I'm really proud of us. I'm proud of Tom. We're both really tired. It's been a very intense week or so just running around. So I think the second we get there, we'll clear customs and just go to sleep. <laughs> a part of me just wants to sleep and go later, but the our health visas actually expire after tomorrow. So we need to be crossing. We need to clear customs tomorrow because we took our COVID tests like four days ago or whatever. Oh, I hear the dinghy. Tom is back from final little run with Bon Bon. We're gonna stick the dinghy on the deck and lift the anchor. <laughs> I just filmed a little video and it actually hit me. What? <laughs> We're going to the Bahamas. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Very excited. <laughs> this is so cool. We're off. Goodbye, Miami. <laughs> so, with much excitement okay. and emotion, skirte, skirte, skirte. we took off into the night towards land that we had dreamed of reaching for so long. We can't wait to share the spectacular views and moments that we get to live in the beautiful Bahamas. In the meantime, if you haven't yet, check out our journey of how we got this far. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel to join us as we discover our first of many destinations in the Caribbean. See you all soon.